Hello. Hi, Brian. Yes. Hey, Brian. It's Roy. Uh, I'm, I'm your neighbor over on Lane Creek Circle. Hi. Hi. I don't live there anymore. I'm sorry, what? I don't live there anymore. You don't live on Deer Trail? No, I don't. Oh, well, maybe that's why I can't connect to your Wi Fi. I've been trying to connect to your Wi Fi and it won't work. Why would you want to connect to my Wi Fi? Well, so I, I was can, there. So I can get on the internet like I used to, but it just, I don't know. There must be a connection problem. I don't know. I moved out of there three years ago, okay. so I'm not sure. Okay. Who you are or where you got my number from. You don't have to be a jerk about it. It's in the homeowner's directory still. You can take your jerk comment and stick it somewhere, Roy. What? Why would you say that? What the fuck is this? R-E-E-F-E-R We be touching tones, calling phones. We rip from Craigslist. Systematic prank machine has never been better than this. Feeling fine, dial your line. You don't know what the facts is. Running strong for 20 years, cactus. Cactus. This ain't a game, playing on these phones Roy gets a little boner every time he hears the dial tone Just like when I see there's a brand new upload We eat, sleep and listen to the Snowplow Show My name is Sensei Doug, I happen to know Tai Chi See you giving snake eyes and we're gonna have a disagreement Call you morning, night or evening If we hack your voicemail, we call it an achievement If you laugh Try your best to conceal it When the number's disconnected We know it's a bereavement this Shit Please hang up and give a moment of silence Message PLA PLA Cactus Old man story mode Cactus, Cactus. Hi my name is Roy and I'm calling from the corporate office Sorry that you're busy but the problem we got is The server's gone wrong Your sales don't exist We're gonna need you to go out back Am I supposed to be doing the earth? Yes, find the breaker box One by one we need them switches all flicked off It's normal if the lights go out in and around the shop Keep on flicking switches till the phone cuts off Plunge into darkness, we are the master artists The tools will start and the funny part is They can hear us laughing but still make sure they power down Every switch in this base cause a mass confusion For every single department, PLA making every mark Open the fuse compartment Bro, you got some balls, mister Sir, sorry. <laughs> oh, no, it's okay. I'm calling from the corporate office. Snowplow show. Cactus. Cactus. R E E F E R. Badness. Welcome to episode 458 of the Snowplow show. Today's episode is sponsored by Maury K. He's one of the billions of people over on the Patreon at patreon.com slash phone losers that contributes to the show, keeps more shows happening, and has access to almost a hundred secret shows that nobody else can listen to. There's no possible way. Thanks, Murray K. This is a show where we do improv comedy with unsuspecting improv comedy partners over the telephone. Sometimes we let them know that they're on an improv comedy show, but usually we don't. Usually they're too quick to hang up in anger before we can tell them that. Today is a live show that happened on Sunday night. We'll get started on that in just a few minutes. But first, a couple of things. Number one, that intro that you heard was by Reefer Badness. He sent it to me maybe a month ago, a few weeks ago maybe. It's pretty awesome. Thank you, Reefer Badness, for that one. You can find Reefer Badness's other music by going to soundcloud.com slash Reefer Badness. I'll have a link to that in the show notes. I have a news story here featuring everyone's favorite gym, Planet Fitness. On Sunday, a Planet Fitness in Saginaw Township, Michigan, was evacuated after a gym patron decided to stop working out and hop online, only to find remote detonator among the list of Wi-Fi networks. He panicked like a little bitch, and Planet Fitness was closed for about three hours while a Michigan State Police bomb-sniffing dog was brought in to search for potential explosives. Because if you were going to bomb a place, why wouldn't you put a hotspot in there that says remote detonator? In the end, none were discovered. And even if they knew who did it, he probably wouldn't get arrested since that's technically not a crime. I know I'm making fun of it, but yeah, you probably shouldn't do that. I think I heard about someone doing this on a plane, on an airplane, maybe a year or two or three ago. Naming their hotspot to something wacky and the plane had to get diverted. But I'm only reporting this because it's Planet Fitness, and as you know, we're constantly calling up Planet Fitnesses and getting them to set off the lunk alarm, because it's the only place where we can call up a business and get them to set off alarms, and it's not a bad thing, because their alarms are stupid. 
They have an air raid siren in their gym that they set off every time somebody grunts too loud or drinks water out of a gallon jug. Oh, look at this. Gizmodo actually links to that um, article about the airplane. Asshole causes emergency landing after naming Wi-Fi network bomb on board. That was a good one. Let's see. What else? Kickstarter. Today, I got my Kickstarter money. I have gotten two phone calls, one text, and one email from my bank from the fraud department wanting to make sure that my debit card was not stolen because I've been spending thousands of dollars on coins and stuff. So yeah, I was able to order all of the coins today, both the PLA coins and the Snowplow Show coins, and I ordered a big batch of stickers to give out with the coins. I already have the lapel pins ordered. I did those a couple weeks ago because they take longer to ship, and the coin people tell me that it's only going to take like two and a half weeks to get the coins here, maybe three, but they said more likely two and a half. And we might get delayed by another week because of the lapel pins. But I think at the very worst, I'm going to be able to start sending things out within one month. By at least May 15th, but hopefully maybe a week earlier. So yay, the Kickstarter stuff is happening. Everything's going good. I don't foresee any problems. And I think I may have mentioned on the last show, I know I tweeted about it, but I was complaining a bunch about how much shipping I was going to have to pay. Because I think I'm going to end up paying probably around $1,000 in shipping, maybe. Somebody pointed me to a website called PirateShip.com. I haven't really looked too closely into it, but I've bookmarked it. And the site claims that I can get much cheaper shipping rates. Someone also told me to look into some specific things at the post office, like bulk shipping. I'm definitely going to look into that. I didn't even think about that, because usually it only costs like a dollar or so to send in coins. But this time it's going to be 3 dollars because of all the stuff that I'm stuffing into these packages. But quite a few people offered to send extra money to cover shipping, and that was nice of you. I appreciated that. I didn't take anyone up on the offer, and I don't want you to think it's a big deal, because I, I knew this was coming. It's fine. Everything's fine. I have the money to ship all this stuff out, thanks to you guys supporting the Kickstarter. So don't worry about it. It's going to happen. Everything's going to get shipped out just fine. Just be excited for the coins that are supposed to arrive within a month. I know I'm excited for it. Uh, if you missed out on the Kickstarter, you can still order coins. I've set up a page on phonelosers.org slash coins. You can go ahead and order coins from there. I don't think I put international rates on those coins yet. Shit, I should probably do that. Maybe I did that already. I can't remember. But coins and lapel pins are on that page, phonelosers.org slash coins. You probably won't get snowplow show coins, but at least you can get PLA coins. Those are the important ones. Oh, and if you order from that page, you know, I'm going to do all the Kickstarter people and Patreon people first. So you might have to wait an extra week or two for yours, but it won't take long. I'll catch up on the orders through that page as soon as I get all the Kickstarter stuff mailed out. There's a new Calls of Mass Confusion video out. I am in this one. I look like I have no idea what I'm doing. We talked to some girl about turning her into a robot or something, or a sex doll, or make a clone of her. I'm not sure what was going on, but I'll have a link to that in the show notes. You can find that by going to youtube.com slash comc pranks. And speaking of calls of mass confusion, Giad was interviewed on the Anti-Social Engineering Podcast. That's the show that Riley does. Everyone knows Riley, right? He's been on my show before. He's been on everyone's show before. And Giad gets on there and he talks about kind of his history with PLA and his history with Riley slash Lux and how calls of mass confusion started up. It's an interesting show if you like calls of mass confusion and Giad and PLA and Lux. So I have a link to that in the show notes if you want to go listen to it. Okay, that's enough for the announcements. This intro is getting really long. Let's play the live show that happened on Sunday night. Pussy Here it good. is. Pussy sweet. Pussy good. Good enough to eat. Pussy good. Pussy sweet. Pussy good. Good enough to eat. Someday it's going to pay off. Your call has been... I've been watching a really exciting webcam tonight. Um, I'm calling it a webcam because, I don't know, seems like that's what he's doing. He's streaming it on YouTube. Uh, it's Murdoch. Murdoch's the guy that did the, uh, the theater calls with me, the movie theater calls. You guys know Murdoch, right? 
Uh, I'm putting the link to his YouTube streaming thingy, uh, YouTube thing, um, on in the Mixler chat room. Everyone should go there and just cactus the shit out of him. He's only got three people watching right now. I doubt he's listening right now because he doesn't listen to my shit. What the hell is he doing? He's just pointing his camera out the window and watching cars go by. The stream's called Looking Out the Window with the Blue Hat on. Like, everyone... <laughs> everyone just... Uh, that, that's going to be our mob tonight. Um, I wish I could give out the URL, but it's, you know, it's like... Uh, <laughs> 6W capital A1 lowercase... Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Cool. Everyone's saying cactus to him there suddenly. There's, there's 12 people watching right now instead of 3. Me and him been talking about the good old days. Matt Hillock's in there, too. It was just Murdoch and Matt Hillock and me, like, talking to each other in there. I'm calling numbers out of a directory that Crimson sent to me. Uh, this is the same one that had a bunch of old people in it. Um, so I don't have much hope for this one. I remember I wasn't getting a lot of answers. Hello? Oh, hi. I was just talking about you. Um, Barbara, hey, it, it's your neighbor, Roy. Okay. Um, I was going through your trash can uh, the other day on trash day. Uh-huh. Like you put your trash can out front, you know? Okay. And I was I was wondering how come you don't like, like you know, squish down your boxes? Because if you squish down all the boxes in your trash can, it would, it would you know, give you more room. It's well, the better. thing is, is when did you do this? Uh, just last, this, this past week. Well, that's interesting because my cans were not out. Um, I, I know. I mean, last week. What do you mean? It's, what, what's interesting about that, though? I didn't have my trash cans out this week. Well, the last time you had them out, you know what I mean. It just seems like every time I go through your trash cans, like you don't squish the boxes down. You, sh you should take them apart and like fold them up and put them in the trash can so you have more space. You're wasting trash bags. I don't know what you're talking about. I always break my boxes down, so Not I don't always. know what you're talking about. I don't have that much that fills up my uh, trash can. My recycle. So I don't know who you are. So I'm your neighbor, Roy. I, I live around the corner. I'm over on Ridgeview. But anyway, that's no excuse to to not. You're in, you're on Ridgeview. Yeah. Well, you're talking about um, 96th Avenue. Are I know. You I go on walks a lot. I go on walks late at night and, and just go through people's trash. Ma'am? Hello? Did you hang up? Doot -doot. Ah. Is Murdoch responding? I don't see any responses from Murdoch. Nope. Murdoch, <laughs> Murdoch's going to come back to the crazy chat room. 20 people watching now. Yeah, so that was boring. Um, I was thinking I'd just do trash cans because people have been telling me to do trash cans lately. Um, but, you know, maybe not. We'll see. <laughs> I regret jumping says their trash smells different than usual. What's wrong? Let me call another 10 numbers until somebody picks up. If these numbers don't work out, though, like if I'm not getting any enough answers, I will move on to something else. I've gotten some other good lists. Reggie sent me a good list tonight that I think could be fun. Hey. What the hell? Ronald and Trisha? Hello? Hey, you hung up on me. It's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, I'm sorry. You know... <laughs> In this day and age, you get one stab at it. <laughs> yeah, but like, what? It, what? What? You didn't even give me a chance. You, you just hung up. I listened. I said hello, and then there was no one here. Oh, you probably said hello and then picked up. No. Yeah, probably. Anyway, um, I was calling about your trash. Our trash? Yeah, you know, you know, you put your trash out and you recycle. Yeah. Out. You're, you're, we've been going through your trash lately. We noticed you've been putting a lot of stuff in the trash that could go in the recycle. Is this a joke? No, no, like you're putting a lot of paper-based stuff in the trash that it seems like you could put it in the recycle. You know, it doesn't have to be cardboard to go in the recycle. It could just be papers. 
You've been going through our garbage. Yeah. Well, no, we do. It's not you. Don't take it personally. We do this, this to everyone. Like, let me put you on speaker because this is a joke. That's not a joke, ma'am. <laughs> so you've gone through our garbage. I'm with the homeowners association. We're supposed to. It's just to make sure that you're recycling properly, and and other reasons. What's the name of the homeowners association? Uh, who the fuck are you? It's uh, is, is that Ronald? Maybe. Tricia, what, what, what's the problem? So, okay, you've been going through our garbage. Okay, what's the what? What, what, what do you care? You're not the what does care because I don't pay the bill. To Why didn't you just hand the phone to Ronald if he was gonna take over the call? Because who calls on a Sunday night? If this is this a business call or is this just some? It's not a business call. call. I'm just here. calling to let you know you need to recycle better. Oh, okay, great. I'll take care of that. Okay, well, no, seriously, you better, or we're going to start sending you fines. Just going to send me a fine. Oh, yeah, we are. Do not you think we can't do it? Who's on the board of... I don't have to tell you shit. Oh, yeah, that's a real professional call there, Jack. I don't... <laughs> you don't even know who's on the board of... Oh, I know exactly who's on the board. Yeah, who? Because well, I gonna... do, too. If you don't know, I'm not going to tell you. All right, well, you have a nice night. Yeah, you too. Throw your cardboard in the trash can all night. That's probably what he's going to do. That's probably their plans tonight. Oh, Murdoch, he, he's in the chat room now. Not my chat room. He's in his own chat room. He's talking <laughs> talking to people in there. That's great. I'll have to go back and read it all later. All right, this next one is an out-of-state area. This is Matthew. Hey, Matthew. Uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Hey, Roy. Hey. Hey, I was looking in your, your trash uh, the other day, and, um, like, is there any way you can, like, not pour the, the gross food stuff over the paper stuff? Because it makes everything... Hey, Roy, um, I've been told you've been making phone calls to different people. Can you tell me more who you are and what your interest is? What, what do you mean, told by who? I, I, I haven't called anyone else. You're probably thinking of a different what neighborhood. Are you referring? What like, neighborhood are you referring to, and that you belong to? Your neighborhood. What, what are you talking Which about? Which is what? Well, I don't have to tell you. If you don't know, I'm not telling you. Okay, well, it's been a good conversation with you. Okay, well, I just was that. It's a simple request. Oh man, maybe maybe this crimson list has uh, outlived its usefulness. I was calling this one last week. It had all the old people, and I guess they've all been warned at this point. Yep, Nebraska Ryan, you're right. The jig is up. This is a nine-page list. I don't know. I, I'll, I'll, I'll keep going, but if one more does that, I may just quit on this list and move on to something else. So what I'm going to do is go down to page seven. I was on page four. Yeah, I'll be Steve Dave now. I'll throw him off the trail. That's what I'll do. Wow, they've, they've warned people about me. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. We could also... Um, we could call liquor stores tonight. I've still got like half of... Oh. oh, hey, Barbara. Yes? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm your neighbor. Uh, Roy? Yeah. Yeah, I live around the corner. Okay. And I was going through your trash, and, like, you keep dumping, like, all the liquidy stuff, like food items, in with the cardboard and the papers and stuff. No. What? Wait a minute. What number? Where, who are you? Uh, this is Roy. I, I live here in the neighborhood. I forgot to okay. say Steve, Dave. Yep, and I was just... What space are you in? I don't put anything in the recycling. You don't put anything in the recycling? Yeah, that's why I'm... Very calling. little. Paper. I know. Just paper. What, why, just paper. Yeah, you, you should put more stuff in the recycling, like like your food containers that are paper and cardboard. No, I don't put any food containers in there. Why not? Newspaper and envelopes. That's don't, it. Don't you want... Are you, like, afraid people will know what you're eating? No. Let, let it go, uh, go ahead. What What's... 
No, I, I, I haven't put any food containers in the recycling. I, that's the problem. You keep putting them in the regular trash. You're, you're uh, not, you're not I don't have very... <laughs> I have like one bag of trash. I know. One bag of recycling. Yeah, but that's that's no yeah. excuse for uh, not recycling properly. Yeah. You're, you're supposed to be uh, recycling okay. everything, every little thing. you got to put in the recycle bin if it goes in there. Okay. Plastics, cardboards. Okay. I'm just saying, you know, and also when you pour food all over every, all the regular stuff, it's hard for me to like root, root through your trash. What See, neighbor are you? What I, number you live in? No, at? I'm with the homeowners association. I, I live way, oh, okay. I live way over there on, on, on the ridge on, not on ridge on 96. Okay, way, now way you over. got me, Stane. You know what? Yeah. I don't live there. You don't it's live, a rental. You don't live on Ridgeview? No. Oh. You know You're just, I, I live in... Oh, my that's gosh. That's my rental house. You need to talk to your tenants. You need to tell them to recycle okay. more, recycle better. Okay. You need well, to I can. Call them you and, sure threw me off. Yeah. I have like one bag of garbage a week. That's it. You're one of those people. You, you, <laughs> or you if don't, even that. I don't. I'm just me. Well, your tenants—they yeah. no, have a lot a more. House. I've been going through their garbage every every week, and it's getting worse and worse. They just don't even care okay. about recycling. Well, I'll tell them. Well, but they hey, sure threw me for a loop. Yeah. What's their number? <laughs> let's let's just get them on the phone right now. Um. Let's see, uh, Jimmy. Yep, Jimmy. Uh, he probably Jimba. won't be ha- happy, but I guess you could. In fact, I don't even. Know, well, they didn't respond to a call. I just gave them a couple of days. Oh, like what, are they? Are they late? Oh, yard work. I, oh, let's let's. No, no, let's, they're not late. I, I just they're never late. Let's have just, a word I with them. Okay, uh, please, ex- please. Uh, We're gonna <laughs> tell them a thing or two. Tell them who you are. That you're the homeowners association in right okay. in, in uh, Beckenridge. Yeah, because you know? yeah, uh, like I said, you're like I'm going like what Roy? Yeah, I don't know any Roy or that's what I'll I, say. I live in a small small community. And, yeah. Um. Okay. Uh. Yeah. Hold on a second. Let me get you the Okay. Number. All right. Let's do it. Click. Click. Okay. This is uh it's Jimmy. Okay. I'm gonna mute. All right. And what's the number? Uh huh. Okay. Alrighty. And what's the other one? Yeah. That's what I'll do mixed or not recycling i guess so whatever okay. be gentle oh, oh of course i will of course but what was the number again for jim jim well, uh, i think it's mm-hmm. yeah them those people okay we'll start with are you ready we're gonna give them a piece of our mind here here we go it's ringing wow you're too high tech for me i know we got we got all the technology here. I don't even know how to do this or here. what you're doing, but you probably won't answer. Uh, this. He's hey, you who you Jimmy. Are. I'm not available right now. Uh, go. I knew Jim would be like this. But we, we have that other number. We'll, we'll try this other one. Okay. Here goes. Hello? Megan? Yes. Hey, it's Roy from the Homeowners Association. Oh, hey. Hey, I'm on the phone with Barbara. Hi, Megan. Hey, how's it going? Okay. You, um, apparently there's a situation where you guys are putting the wrong stuff in the recycling container, which is interesting, but Mr. Roy here it, just called me, and I thought he was my neighbor here, and, and really threw me for a loop. Yeah, it was crazy. So, um, she was worried. <laughs> I'm like thinking, what? Who? Yep. Roy? What? And then she was telling me anyway, that you guys ahead, don't Roy. keep... And she was telling me you guys don't keep up your yard very good either. Like, it's a messy, messy oh, yard. And I agree. I did not. Uh huh. You you're, did not. You were bad mouthing uh-huh. them all over the place. <laughs> you should have heard her, Megan. Now, now she's. I'm she's, sorry. She, now she's, she's kidding. No, she's kidding. I wouldn't kid. I'm a Christian. She's backpedaling. <laughs> but anyway, hey, any, anyway. Yeah. Anyway, uh, Roy, Megan. Go ahead with what the issue is. So, so Megan, you and Jim. Um, you, you haven't been recycling properly. You're putting too much paper. We've been going through your trash. Okay. 
And I didn't know that was that's the HOA to go through our trash. So what are we putting in there that we shouldn't be putting in there? Oh, you know, just papers. Don't you know what goes in the recycle bin? Uh, I thought like junk mail was fine, like all the stupid ads that are mailed. I don't. I've never been told otherwise. Ever in any property I've ever had. Yeah, but I'm like also to... also boxes, like food boxes, like your stupid macaroni dinners and stuff Whoa, like that. Oh, you don't have to talk to us like that. Oh, no, you said the word stupid first. Remember? You, well, sa- you said I, I stupid. I mean, you know, like everybody gets really annoyed with all the amount of... Right? Yeah. yeah. You're you're inappropriate. No, you know, I'm not... I'll talk to him. Okay. Okay, Barbara. I'll, I'll talk to him, Roy. Oh. Yeah, no, you're you're you you are inappropriate. Just you hang up. But, I'll talk to Megan no, later. You hang up. But Barbara, can, can you tell her to shut her kids the fuck up real quick? Oh damn! You called me at my home. It's dinner time at our house. I know. Like, tell your kids to be quiet. Sit at the table quietly. I have a one-year-old daughter that I had to step away for to get this phone call. She's upset. She's in her high chair. Who is that? It's HOA. Well, let me talk. Hold on. Yeah, put Jim. Jim? Hello, Jim? Jim? Hello, this is Mr. Smith. Who's this? Oh, hey, what happened? You disappeared there for a little while. Yep. Whoa. What, what'd you do? What did we you, do for you? Did you pop over on three way and dial one of those numbers that records my call? Is that what you? No, you're... sir, I did not. My wife just passed me this. Who, who is this? Oh, it's weird because you just kind of disappeared for a whole thirty seconds or so. Okay, but I, who, 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 I kept, who am I talking? I to? kept saying, "Jim, Jim, are you there?" And like you weren't replying. What happened during that time? I I don't know. Who, who's this? Like when you record the calls like that, you should say, "Hey, hold on one second. I, I've got to uh, do something here." And, oh and... man, you don't want to mess around with me. Okay, well, I'm just saying you guys like need to uh, take better care of your yard. Number one. I don't have a yard. You're, oh, you, you, you don't call... Yeah, I, I wouldn't call it a yard either if I were you, the way it looks. Okay. Okay, what's in my yard that you don't like? And you're, you need to recycle better. Like you're what's not, in my you're yard not, you're that not, you don't like? You're not recycling properly. Are you, are you not hearing Is me? Is that not up to the company? Uh, tell, tell, tell that lady to shut up. Uh, I don't know who you are, partner, but... Okay, well, she's interrupting while you're on the phone. Tell her to shut the fuck up. Oh, dude, you're up. Uh, and, and I'm not your partner, Chief. Okay, dude. Hold on a second. I'm, I'm not your dude, pal. <laughs> and furthermore, Jim? Uh-oh, he's doing it again. Go ahead. I, I'm I, listening. I, it's your turn to speak. I've said a whole bunch of stuff, and you haven't said anything back to me. Uh, I've got nothing to say to you. Okay, well, I just called to let you know. Clean up your damn yard. Uh, recycle better. And tell your wife to shut up. Uh, what's your name, dude? Uh, this is Roy. Roy, where do you live quit, at? Quit calling me dude. It's very condescending. I didn't call you dude. I said, where do you live at? You said dude. I heard you. I've got it on recording. I'm recording this call. That's that's good. For, good for you. You should, probably should. J- just but like you're recording. Do you where do you live at? Oh, I don't have to tell you. Like, uh, I'm, I'm the boss here. We, we just, uh, you know, we keep an eye on your trash and your recycle levels, and they're way off. They're very disproportionate. Sounds good. You need, you need to fix that ASAP. Sounds good. That's right. I'll be uh, seeing you later, Roy. Will you? That, that sounds kind of, like, scary. Don't, don't say it like that, okay? Oh, I promise. What, what do you mean you promise? See you later, Roy. Okay, Jim. Wow, I'm, I'm all shook up now, you guys. What the hell was that? Well, that was kind of fun. I got a lady to participate in a prank call with me. When he said, I promise, that, that was like his, uh, his response to, is that a threat? And he was thrown off because I didn't say that. Yeah, probably the the trace went through, and that's why he started acting like that all of a sudden. He got on the three-way and dialed the trace number. You know what? Fuck it. Let, let's find a new list. I got a really good one from uh, Reggie. Maybe I'll come back to this one, Crimson. I'll do it off the air or something. 
Yeah, he's going to stand in my yard with a Jason Voorhees mask. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have moved on to another list. This one is from Reggie. Reggie sends a ton of lists in. He sent this one in just one hour ago. 28 trailer park residents plus the office number. Another damn list, God damn it, is what he says. Thanks, Reggie. So this could be fun. Um, I looked it up just now on Google Maps. And, you know, it's, it's they're, they're mobile homes. I, I don't know if I have an opinion on how nice they are. They're not the nice, it's not a super nice looking home, mobile home park. They're not actual trailers, they're mobile homes. Anyway, so yeah, um, I forget what I was saying to trailer park people before. Uh, I guess I could go back on my list here, because I never delete anything, and read that again. But we're going to call trailer park people. Uh, they're in New Mexico. It is a huge mobile home park, like really, really huge. Hello? Hi, Mrs. Rodriguez? No, this is her daughter. Can I help you? Okay, don't don't get an attitude with me. Uh, this is Roy from the mobile yeah, home. I have an attitude. Oh, you kind of do. I'm from the mobile home park. Uh, I don't have an attitude. What's going on? Okay, well, I, I, was, I only said that because of your attitude. That's all. <laughs> okay. All right. Is um, where's Mrs. Rodriguez at? Where's what's she doing tonight? She's here in her chair resting. Okay. Can I help? You? Well, there you go with the attitude again. Oh my god! I mean, it's just I don't have an attitude. I'm answering your question. Well, you're like she's here in her chair, resting, and then she hangs up. Like that is totally an attitude. Let me call her one more time. I didn't have anything prepared. I forgot. <laughs> like, what, what was I going to say to her? Uh, neighbors paving their front lawn with... No. That's mean. For real, if you tell me I have an attitude one more time, I'm calling the police on you. You can't What's call going the on? police on me just because you have an attitude. Um, I just call them to let... Yeah, you know, now I do have an attitude. What's going on? Well, you, you sound the same to me. I was calling to let you know we're going to be paving uh, all the grassy areas of your, uh, your, your, plot, your piece of land there. We're going to be paving them. I speak English. I understand you perfectly. Go for it. Okay. <laughs> I, didn't, I didn't say anything about her English understanding abilities. Why, why'd she say that? Is that <laughs> did she get that a lot? All right. I regret jumping. Has a good one. He wants me to say their mobile home looks kind of dumb. Or makes, looks dumb. Makes the whole neighborhood look like a trailer park. That's what we're doing to Barbara. These better not be a bunch of old people, Reggie. Be really annoyed if it is. But they sure are old people names. Dang it. Maybe we should just do uh, liquor stores. Oh. Hi, uh, Betty. Who's calling? Uh, it's Roy from the mobile home park. Roy. Yeah, from the office. Oh my gosh, settle down. What, what oh, you, why are you calling? I, I was getting to that, but you like I don't know what's with the attitude. I'm I'm just I, I called I'm calling to let you know about something. Oh, okay. Well, this is Joni, her daughter. Oh, Betty is Betty is deceased. That's oh. why I was wondering what it was oh, about. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, I, I just needed to find out, is it going to be a problem if I move into your trailer there just for a couple days? Move into my trailer? Yeah, yeah, just for a couple days. My house is being digitized. I don't know who you are, but now I have your phone number. I know, so but... I'm going to report this to security. Oh, that's fine. No, they know me. Like, security knows me. Uh, they work for me. But you don't just call up a stranger and ask to move into their house. But I work in the office, and my house is being digitized for a couple of days. Like a full I don't digit know what digitized is, but... You know how, like, we live in analog houses? Like, um, it's, I'm upgrading it. It's going to be a digital house. You know? Nope. Guess not. 
That was Cody's. Um, I was gonna do. I'm, I'm gonna do yours next. I regret jumping, but you know, she just told me that Betty died. <sighs> I think this might be the wrong time of day for this list. I think we might need to move on to liquor stores. These are all old lady names. Now that I go down the list, we've got a Helen, we've got a Gloria, we've got a Florence, we've got a Sylvia, and there's no male names. So they don't have a husband they can complain to about my crazy calls. Hello, no one is available. And, and I keep reaching daughters of the recently deceased. That's no fun. Oh my God, Reggie. I think I'm going to call these in the daytime. Uh, I regret jumping brings up a good point that liquor stores are open. Let, let's try. I, I want. I want to do like just one with I regret jumping's idea. That's what we'll do, and then we'll stop on this list for now. And I'll come back to it. I promise, Reggie. Reggie's in the chat room. Hi, Reggie. Hello. Hi, Beverly. Yes. It's Roy from the office, the mobile home park office. Hi, how are you? I'm pretty good. How are you doing tonight? Good. Hey, what can I do for you? Um, I needed to let you know that your mobile home looks dumb, and it makes the whole neighborhood like we're a trailer park. Well, what the fuck do you think this is? Well, we're a mobile home park, but you're... You're making it look like a trailer park. Like, we're one step away from being an RV park. What the fuck are you talking about? I live in a double-wide mobile home. I know, but you're, you're making it look like a trailer park. Who the fuck is this? It's Roy from the, the office. There is no Roy at the office. There is now. I, I just, I've been here like three weeks. You don't come in enough. Or you would know me. I don't care to know you. I well, I don't want to know you either because your your mobile home looks dumb. Makes What's lo- wrong with my mobile home? It just looks dumb. It makes the whole neighborhood look How? like look like a trailer park. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. You better not. I don't give you permission. The hell, I won't. I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call, and you know what? I'm going to report you. No. Please don't. You want to play fucking games, buddy? Don't report. Let's play fucking games. Don't report me, please, okay? I'm, I got two strikes. You are a piece of fucking shit. Okay. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. Oh, come on. Please, my please. nephew is a sheriff. <gasps> I'm reporting you to him. You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. Just, just, can we pretend I never called you? Can, can we just pretend I never called? Beverly? Whoa. Jesus Christ. <laughs> she, she makes me kind of want to, like, keep calling on this list. Got some tough old ladies down there in New Mexico. She was like cursing at me right away. All right, let's call Bobby. Bobby's a a nice Christian 1930s name for a lady. Why don't I just end it there? I mean, that's a perfect place to end, right? Why am I not ending it? I should be ending it. What am I doing? Why am I calling another one? Hello. Please leave a message after the... Okay, one more. I'm going to try one more. Quick chat room idea before I start calling uh, liquor stores. Man, we got some... We got some great clips from her. I'm going to be <laughs> sound clipping half of her conversation. Hola. Hi there, uh, Brian. Yeah. Uh, is this Brian? Yeah. Hey, Brian. Hi. You almost you sounded kind of like a female there at first. That was weird. <laughs> Who's this? Uh, this is Roy. I'm I'm with the uh, the mobile home, the, the the you know the office. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. No, yeah, the one the Four Hills Mobile Home Park. I'm 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 here in the office. I needed to let you know about something. We've been trying to call all week. Okay, I I don't live there. Oh, who lives there then? I don't know. Oh, 
Where, where do you live? What did you need? You don't live on Maverick? Nope. Shit. Did you used to? Nope. Fuck. Why? Is this what Brian? Do you need? Well, this is Brian, though, right? Yep. Well, who lives there? Does somebody else live there that has this number? Because we've been trying to call all week. Nope. For what? Shit, fuck. Uh, I, we're, we're doing like a mandatory digi- digi- digitalization of all trailers. We're gonna be, oh, we're gonna be dig- nope. digitizing the trailers. Nope, don't live there. We we ha- we needed to let you know to like so nobody got stuck in the matrix. Oh, that sucks. And also, do you know Beverly? Nope, don't know Beverly. Oh, okay, never mind then. You don't want right, you don't thanks. want you don't want to know her. She curses. Oh, that's too bad. Yep. Who was the? Who was the? This is. I already told you. It's Roy from the office. Roy. Roy Roundtree. It doesn't even matter though, because you don't live here. You claim. I think you're full of shit, though. I think you're full of shit. I think you're more full of shit. I think you're full of shit twice. You want to meet me at in front of Twenty One Maverick? We'll talk about it. Oh, that's weird because I never gave you the house number, and all of a sudden you know the house number, and you're right there. Actually, you did, but. No, I do not live there. No, I didn't give you the house number. I just gave you the street, you stupid motherfucker. No, you said, well, meet me out there then. How long will it take you to get there? Like two seconds since you're inside? Uh, Actually, probably like 15 hours since I don't even live in New Mexico. Why do you have a New Mexico number then? That's impossible. No, it's not impossible. Yes, it is. I've had this number since high school. I know how the phone company works. Obviously, you don't. Yes, I do. Like, there's no way. Like, w- you're not 15 hours you're away. You're not as smart as you you're trying to be. New, New Mexico is not that big. Like, if you're 15 hours away, you'd be in a different <laughs> area code, you idiot. I am in a different area code. Which one? Doesn't matter. How did I reach you then? Called my number. You just have like a really long extension phone. You're so huh? full of shit. Don't even understand how phones work, dummy. God, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. <laughs> you're a dumbass. You're an idiot twice. <laughs> twice? Oh. Yep. All right, buddy. Yeah, have a good are. night. All right. You too. Tell that lady that picked up at first, uh, give her kisses for me. Tell, tell her have I a will. nice night. Too bad you like dudes. Uh-uh. I do not. Don't Take that back. Take it back. <laughs> Sounds like you do. I, I don't. Take it back. Sit, don't, like, apologize for that. Nope. You better, because it's not true. It's not true at all. It's not true. <laughs> you motherfucker. He's the one that was wanting to meet me, so I think he likes dudes. Okay, I can't quit this list at this point. We're going to call Carol. <laughs> Actually, there are a couple uh, male names on here now that I'm looking at it. There's a Clyde, another nice name from the 1940s. You got a Donald and an Eddie. Same number since high school. Why? Move on. What? So your high school friends can please still leave call your message you? for five. So let's call Clyde. He used to have a landlord named Clyde. And a district manager. He hated me. They were both old. Please leave your name and number after the beep. No. Please leave your message for five. Okay, somebody just seconded the jump starting the trailer idea. What's the idea? Your trailer is dead. Ask if they can, ask if they can jump start it with their trailer. Okay, I regret jumping. I'm going to do it only because somebody seconded that idea alright Eddie we got two Eddies in a row and ask them to drive their trailer over to me man I can't get over that that lady that cursed at me a bunch <laughs> she was awesome I wish she would have like taunted me when I asked her to just forget it but she didn't she just hung up hello Hi, Florence. Yes? It's your neighbor, Roy. This is what? It's your neighbor, Roy. Roy? Yeah, hey, my my trailer, it, it died. 
can you can you bring your trailer over here and jump start my trailer? I don't know who you are. Uh, I live over here on uh, Buckley and Bronco Trail. Okay, what do you need? Um, can you drive your trailer over here? My my trailer died, like the battery's dead. Well, I'm sorry, I don't have a trailer to drive over there. I know, just like hook it up, hook up to a truck and drive it over here real quick. I and, can't do that. But I just need a jump start. That's all, so I can watch TV. How did you get my number? Uh, I looked in the telephone book. They they delivered the phone books last week. Yeah. Yeah, I just I, I just needed to drive your trailer over here and jump start my trailer. Honey, I don't have a trailer. Uh, well, your your mobile home, you know what I mean. My who to what? Your, your mobile home, your RV, whatever that thing is. I don't know. The thing you live in. It's a mobile home, and I can't drive that. Just drive it over here. No, I can't. L hook it up to a truck and pull it over here. No. Sorry. Bye. Can you bring... Uh, okay. Oh my god, I regret jumping. That idea was terrible. Florence didn't fall for it. So whoever said I regret jumping has good ideas, please take that back. Hello? Hi, Gloria? Yes? Hey, Gloria. Uh, this is Roy from the mobile home park office. Yes? And, um, hey, we're going to be running a new commercial on television for the mobile home park. Uh-huh. And um, can I play it for you? It's, it's, uh, and, and you can just tell me if it's any good. Yeah, right now? Yeah, yeah, I'll play it right now. I'm going to play a new, it's a commercial, it's going to air on television. Or health? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, we're, we don't have a lot of, we need more tenants here, and uh, not a lot of people are moving in, so we're going to run a TV commercial. To try okay, and who am I speaking to? Uh, this is Roy from the office. You know, Roy from, from the office. Yeah, from Hills, from the office. Okay. Okay, you ready? Yes. Okay, I haven't, I haven't. Okay, yeah, here we go. Oh wait. So it's just panning across a bunch of trailer parks first. Mobile Home Park. Come on down and enjoy the living here on Colt Lane, on Mustang Trail, on Buckling Bronco Trail. We got pink trailers, we got white trailers, we got blue trailers, we got yellow trailers. Give us a call at 520 6121. Come on and move on in. Fuck, fuck those, fuck those apartments. Who wants to live in an apartment anyway? Hamlet's mobile park. What do you think? What do you think? Are you are you asking me what I think? Hello. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I was just wondering what you think. Is it, was it a good commercial? Do you think it would draw people in to the trailer park? We're just trying to gauge people's response that already live here. Yeah, I think it would. That's good. You didn't it's think... Kinda, it's kind of hard to understand, though. Yeah, just over the phone. I think on TV it'll play better because there's images of, uh -huh. like, of like you out there watering your lawn and stuff. And, uh -huh. you know, just like people driving around in golf carts and stuff. So it'll make people want to move here. We're trying to get the young people in. Oh, well, that's good. Yep. We could use some young people around here. Yeah, I think so. So you, you And some good good people that that are handyman that you can trust. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that would be nice. Yep. Okay. Okay, so you approve? Like, Do I have your approval on the commercial? Because uh, I need 10 votes before we can put it on network television. Yeah, you have my vote. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Gloria. You're welcome, Roy. I hope you have a nice night. You too. Bye. Are you watching anything good on t TV? Uh, I was watching the the awards. Oh, neat. The awards. I'm, I'm missing yeah. those tonight because I have to make all these phone calls. Well, good luck, Roy. Okay. Good, good luck to you. Okay, have a good night. Oh, you have a good night, too. Okay, bye. Okay, bye to you, too. Bye. All right, bye. Bye, too. <sighs> okay. 
That was uh, Zach's idea. Zach WSX3's idea. You're asking for feedback on a new radio commercial. Oh, yeah, I said TV commercial. Oops. Cue some music about cats being good and sweet. Oh, the pussy good song. Okay, I didn't see that part. Oops. That was fun anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was like. Are there awards tonight? What, what's the awards? Who knows? So I guess we're not going to do liquor stores tonight. You know, I've been on for an hour and 20 minutes. That's way too long. I'm just going to finish up this list and fuck it. I'm out of here. Just fuck everything. Let's call Helen. Wasted Memory wants me to say we're switching all the trailers from electrical to steam power. The number you have dialed is not in service. Rest in peace, Helen. Like they'll know who ICP is. Maybe if I tell them the Beach Boys are coming. Or the Beatles. The Beatles are going to have a concert there. Maybe we'd, we will do a liquor store or two, because I'm almost done with this list. Jimmy Buffet? Yeah. It's going to be a Jimmy Buffet concert. How about Drew Carey? Drew Carey's going to come from The Price is Right. Don't all the old ladies love Drew Carey? Me and Dwight were talking about Drew Carey last night on the on the Dwight show. The old ladies love to watch Drew Carey during the days at full volume. RK4 wants me to say that Carrot Top is going to be performing directly in front of their trailer, right on their front door. Their porch is going to be the stage. Hello? Hey there, Robert. Yes? Hey, it's uh, Roy from the, the mobile home office. I don't know Roy. Okay, well, I'm Roy. I'm just I'm calling you to let you know that um Carrot Top, he's going to be performing in on your property on uh Monday um Monday afternoon at 1 p.m. Where? Um like you know your porch area like right outside your front door. Th that's going to be basically his stage. He's going to he does prop comedy. There's just it's, you're, you're you're really bored, aren't you? <laughs> oh no, I'm I'm completely serious. I, it, like there's gonna, there's going to be a small crowd here. He's just doing like a small venue type thing. There, there's it's just going to be like less than fifty people watching it. Oh, okay. but well, you need to keep well, keep your door shut um, during his oh. performance. It's just going to be like two hours. <laughs> Oh my God! They haven't seen my yard, have they? <laughs> no, it's okay. He likes that kind of oh, stuff. That's hilarious. No, he. It's... Oh, I gotta tell people this one. <laughs> yeah, well, like just they can come over and watch if they want, but they have to pay. Okay, well, but he likes Roy... he likes the campy type uh, atmospheres, and he does prop comedy, and he said your trailer is perfect. Oh my gosh! Well, yep. that's interesting. Yeah, yep. he's like, <laughs> but, uh, but. <laughs> I, oh, you made my humor. I was watching this interview with Comey, and and I tell you what, I thought that was ridiculous, but I you've topped it. Oh, that's great. Who's who's <laughs> Comey? You, who, the, who the fuck's Comey? A, excuse me. Who the fuck's Comey? James Comey. Oh, James, the, form, the former FBI director. Oh, that James Comey. That James Comey. I'm very yep. familiar with the FBI. George Stephanopoulos is interviewing him. Oh, good old George. And it, yeah, and he's you, asking some pretty hard questions, and this guy is just dancing around the table. Of course he is. I wouldn't expect anything <laughs> less of James. It, um, the reason, why, you're the not reason watching, why I'm laughing so hard about this concert in my yard is I have rocks. Yeah, that's okay. That, that's lot what, of rock. Yeah, he wants you can't that. Even walk through, you can't even walk through it. Yeah, that's what he wants. He said he drove through here and said yours is perfect, and he's, he wants to use yours. Well, there won't be anybody here. How come you're not watching the awards? Oh no, that's that's too that's that's too young. Yeah, that's, that's that doesn't matter. Only young people worry about that, and then when they get older, they realize it really didn't matter. I don't know. I bet yeah, some I, old people still watch them. Excuse me. I bet you some old people still watch them. Well, the ones that are stuck. Yeah, those people. You you got to go forward like having carrot top in your. Front yard. That's right. One o'clock. That's right. 
I sure do. Thank you. I'm going back to my interview. Thank you, Roy, okay. for a, a delightful conversation. No problem. Just don't touch your door from 1 to 3. Well, I promise it's a glass door. Well, don't touch it. Don't And don't be back there making faces because they're going to be filming. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> I'm, don't. Like, you take, don't. <laughs> you, you take care of yourself, Roy. Okay, you too. And, and you keep up the good work and introduce yourself to me. I will. I promise. I'll see you on Monday. Monday at 1. Bye now. All right. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> People need to move forward. And he's watching, like, some old guy from the FBI or something. I don't know what he's talking about. Only young people watch the awards. We're sorry. All right, Ro Rosita. Rest in peace, Rosita. Let's try Susan. Hello. We're unable to get to the phone right Balls. now. All right, Sylvia. Sylvia's our last hope. Yes. Hi, Sylvia. Yes. Hey, Sylvia. It's Roy from the office here at Hills Mobile Home. Yes. And I'm calling to let you know, they wanted me to call everyone let them know that... um. Uh, the trailer park, it's now owned by the Canadian consulate because we're on Canadian land. So, uh, you know, if you want to leave the trailer park, you're going to have to get a passport. <laughs> I liked that idea. Uh, that, that, that idea that fucked up the very last call was by Timothy. Thanks for that, Timothy. Let's try it right back. Oh, and it's busy now. She's star three two in me. Yes. Hey, uh, don't don't hang up on me. I'm. This is serious stuff. I just I needed to let you know about it. Who are you? Uh, this is Roy from the the trailer park office. We're all Canadians now. Come on, pick somebody else to play jokes on. No, I'm I'm not joking, ma'am. It's I'm completely serious. <laughs> That was great how she said that, though. I enjoyed that one. Thanks, Tim. Okay, so I'm going to call a couple liquor stores here from I Regret Jumping's painfully put-together liquor store list. There's still a ton of shit in here I never got around to trying. I didn't realize there was so much. So I'm going to start right where I left off with Golden Spot Liquor. I'm not doing many of these, though. I'm just going to do a few. We're going to be done with it. I'm going to go watch some Lost in Space. I'm almost done with it. Four episodes to go. I can do it tonight. I'm sure of it. Hello. Please leave a message after the tone. Liquor stores might be closed in some states already. I know around here they, um, they close at 7. Here in Albany, if you want liquor after 7, you're just fucked. I mean, you know, you can go to the bar, I guess. Order a bunch of glasses and then just sneak out the door with it. That's what I do. This one is called Kickapoo Red Ball Liquor. Oh yeah, Sunday. I'm talking about every day though. So maybe I should only call the ones on the west coast, the west side. Here we go, California. It's only 8.30 in California. They've gotta still be open, right? Liquor seller. Hey there, uh, this is Roy, I'm the band manager for the Insane Clown Posse, you know, the music group. Mm, which, which music group? Uh, Insane Clown Posse, they're coming to your store. They're going to be there in 10 minutes. Uh, um, I, don't, I don't know about it. Okay, well, they're coming to your store. Uh, it's, a, it's a very famous music group called the Insane Clown Posse. Uh -huh. They're going to come in. They're all going to be dressed like clowns. Um, oh, okay. There's going to be cameras, cameras with them, a large entourage. Uh, there's usually a bunch of fans and reporters and TV cameras following them. Uh -huh. So your oh. store is just going to totally fill up in, in just like no time. Oh, okay. Like, in, in what time? In about 10 minutes. Oh, okay. So what would... We do we yeah just order? just serve them give them anything they want okay D don't take no for an answer oh wait no that's yeah you know just don't say no to them okay um, you're gonna need to give them at least one free bottle of vermouth but they'll make it worth your while uh, 
I'm, well, I'm not allowed to do that. Oh, you, you'll do it because they're going to spend thousands of dollars. So just give them okay. one one free bottle of vermouth, and they'll they'll spend. Vermouth? Yeah, any 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 type, whatever you know. Okay. Yep, and um, they're gonna have their af- they're gonna drink inside the store. Oh, okay. It, they're they're gonna like all gonna be drinking inside your store. They're gonna take okay. the bottles off the shelf. They're gonna open them and they're gonna drink them. Okay. They're gonna be drinking so much alcohol while they're in there. Is that okay? That won't be okay because there's no drinking in the premises. Yeah, but they're celebrities. They're famous. <laughs> yeah. So they're gonna um, be drinking. Okay. Um, some of them are going to be naked. Okay. They're going to have G- clown... Girls or boys? Uh, both. Uh, both? Yep. Okay. Some girls, some boys. They're going to be naked. They're going to have clown makeup on, but they'll be naked. Okay. Sounds great. All right. All right. They're going to smash you. bottles on the floor. Thank you. They're pro- Bye-bye. Okay. They're probably going to smash bottles, though. Okay? Okay. Bye-bye. So, but it's worth it because they're going to spend a lot of money. That was boring. Those juggalos. That was a liquor seller. Teehee. Man, most of these are on the eastern part of the country. And it's okay. I wanted to quit anyway. I'm sick of all of this. I just want to go. Here's a California one. Hello? Hi. Isn't this the liquor store? Yes. Oh, you didn't say liquor store. Can I help you? You just said hello. Hello? This one, okay? Ma'am? Uh, this is a customer, this one. Yeah, I'm a customer. Ma'am? Okay, I, okay, I, okay, I, I get it. Hey! Hey! Hey, no, what's your name? Hey! I'm busy! Can you hear me? <laughs> uh, call back, I guess. What the fuck was that? I regret jumping wants me to ask if I can have their expired liquor. That was Slick's liquor. Bunch of jerks there. Hello, can I help you? Hi there. Uh, this is Roy. I'm a customer. I was in there a little bit ago. Mm-hmm. And I was inside your cooler, you know, like in the back. Yeah. And I, I left something in there. Do you think you can go check and see if it's still there? What did you leave and where? Uh, it was my Kenny Loggins CD. And where would it be? You know the big walk-in cooler that we're not supposed to be in? Okay, what were you doing in there then? I was just... nothing. Then why would it be in there if you're not supposed to be in there? I, I just... I don't know. I was just in there. Like, let's just not even worry about that part of it. But I left it... I left... I, yeah, I left it in there. I was changing discs on my disc man. And, um, and so you walked back there, and you're not supposed to be back there... And now you want me to go back there and look for your CD? Yeah, I'm pretty sure I left it in there. I don't see where else it could be. Because I know while I was in there, I was listening to my disc man. And I had to switch. So what were you doing back there? How long were you back there? Uh, I was in there. I was back there quite a while, like a good 20 minutes. Uh, well, please don't call this number again. Why? Please, and if you come back, I'll call the cops. No, don't call the cops. I'm a regular. I'm a regular customer. Well, you have no business being back there. Okay, well, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have been back there, and I won't go back there again, but I really need okay. my Kenny Loggins. and then tomorrow I'm going to tell Jeff, and you're not allowed in the store no more. Well, I want my CD back. You can't just take my CD. Okay, well, you shouldn't be back there. Okay, that's no... You have no business being in the back of the store. But that doesn't give you the right to steal my property. Nobody's stealing your property. Well, if you don't give me back my Kenny Loggins CD, you are. Okay, well, then you call the cops, and we'll deal with it then, okay? No, you I'm have not a calling. Nice Why would I bother the cops? anymore, I will call the cops. Why would I bother the cops with this? Because you had no business being back there, it and does... you can get it from Jeff tomorrow. Well, you know what? I'm just, I'm just going to... Leave these women alone tonight. I'm just going to come in, and I'm just going to go back there again, and I'll look, from, I'll look myself. And then I'll call the cops. No, you won't. Cause Watch I'll, me. I'll, I'll sneak back there. You didn't know I was back there the first time. What does she mean, leave these ladies alone? That's the one where the lady yelled at me, but I don't understand why she, why she was yelling at me. That was an idea from a previous show. Where is it? Oh, that was uh, that was I regret jumping's idea. He he uh, he sent that with the original email. It looks like. Thanks for the idea. I regret jumping. I guess. Timothy wants me to say that I, ident- I identify as underage. Strip liquor. 
Hi, uh, I have a question for you before I come in there. Yep. Um, I'm I'm like legally I'm uh, I'm 45 years old. Okay. But I self-identify as a 12 year old. Am I going to be able to get liquor if I come in there? Uh, that depends on what the ID says. Well, do I have to show ID? I mean, I'm 45. I'm I'm like balding and fat. Probably and, not. No. Okay, but I mean, I, I still I, I wear I wear like um, I wear like a Ghostbusters shirt, and I'll have a backpack on, and a hat. And that's how most 45 year old hipsters dress these days. No, I mean, anyway. but um, yeah, but I I, I self identify as a 12 year old, so I'll, I'll be I'll I'll be talking like very hip, like a 12 year old does. This is Las Vegas, sir. That doesn't crack my top ten list for strangest things I'll see today. Okay. Well, I'm just making sure. I want to make sure because I don't want to come in there and get arrested for underage drinking. Three dollars and one cent. I'm an Here adult you tween. Hey, you're being very rude, like talking to someone else while you're on the phone. I'm uh, handling transactions. I'm up here alone right now. Okay. I'm gonna have uh, a back- you're good to go as far as uh, what you told me. Okay. I just want to make sure because I'm going to have a backwards hat and a skateboard. All right. You got it, man. I have another question. Uh, yeah, you're good to go, man. I have another question. I uh, got to handle customers. Okay. You take care, man. I have another question. Uh, please hold. Ah, shit. They're playing We Are the Champions. Huh? You know what? I don't have to put up with this. I'm hanging up. Uh, well, maybe I'll wait for one customer. And just maybe he'll pick up. Wow. Paying for their liquor with cash. They're old school. Getting his nickels back. All right. Still with me? Yep. Okay. What was your next question, sir? Um, do you have um, expired liquor there? Can I just have it? Uh, no. What do you do with it? Expired beer goes back to the vendor for a credit. And hard liquor never expires. Oh, sure it does. Come on. Don't be stingy with it. Just, like, give it away so it doesn't go to waste. Pretty much anything above 15% alcohol just doesn't expire. It's kind of how alcohol works. Yeah, I think you're just a disgusting place and you you don't throw out your expired shit. How's it going, man? Tell that guy to shut the fuck up. <laughs> What's Carl been saying? Tell him he's had enough he's tonight. One, he? Tell him he's had enough already. Can you put that customer on the phone? Uh, I'm not going to do that. Why not? Anything hmm. else you need to know, man? Not really. I, I already know uh, everything I need to know that you're disgusting and you don't throw out your expired liquor. All right. I'm just going to go to Roy's Liquor. They're better anyway. Okay. You take care. Okay. I have a confession. Yep. I'm actually at Roy's Liquor already. I work here. Sure. I appreciate uh, your service. No problem. I just, you know, wanted to waste your time because we're a better liquor store than you. That's cool. Yep. We just wanted to, I wanted to get it on recording that you guys don't throw out your expired liquor. It's disgusting. <laughs> You're gross. Anything gross. else I can help you with? No, just hang up. Peace. All right. What a nice guy. Can't make him mad. Let's call Roy's liquor. Hello. Please leave a message oh, after the come tele- on, Roy's. Seven, zero, two. Well, because of I regret jumping in his mainly eastern half of the country liquor store list, this show is almost over. Uh, Roy's isn't picking up. This next one is the last one on in California. Why didn't you put more Oregon ones in there, I regret jumping? What's your liquor? Hey, uh, this is Roy. I'm a customer. I was in there a little bit ago. Okay. And my mom said I had to call you and apologize. What? My, my mom said I had to call you and apologize for what I did in there earlier. 
And what'd you do? So, um, like, you know your cooler that customers aren't supposed to go into? You sure you got the right store? Yeah, yeah. Um, Horseshoe Liquors. Okay. Is that you? That's us, yeah. Okay, yeah. I went in your cooler, like in the back. 1970, okay. You know? Okay. And I, I pooped in your cooler. Oh, good for you. Yep, I pooped right in the middle. Have you been in there yet? That was me. You have a good day. You have a good day. Me or them? Oh, both of us, I guess. I tried. Somebody in the chat room suggested that. I don't know who. But I blame you for that, for him not reacting at all. I'll finish up this liquor store list uh, one of these days, though. I regret jumping. It'd be a good good afternoon thing to do, since they're all more on the eastern side of the country. The good news is the poop is probably frozen solid by now. That's I regret jumping's idea. Which is really dumb, because it's not a freezer. It's a fridge. Durr. So that's the end of the show. Thanks for listening, everyone. Thanks for the uh, chat room ideas and all that stuff. I can't wait to re-listen to that one lady. The <laughs> You know the one I'm talking about? From the trailer park. The one that uh, cursed at me a lot. She had a mouth on her. She sure did. Um, hopefully there'll be a show starting up as soon as I end my show. Somebody do a show. I'm going to go watch the Murdoch stream. Fucking time ago in a town called Kickapoo. Hey, Brad, it's Crimson. Guess what? I found my phone call. I found the phone call with the mask of an old lady and old man, you know, and he's staring out in the yard. Oh, I found that old it. Thing. It's August 16th, 2015, uh, taking advantage of people or whatever. <laughs> yeah, being, being evil and taking advantage of people. That's what it is. It's in there. And there's one other call in Yay. there with the. Uh, I didn't really describe that includes the mask. But, uh, anyway, that is the uh, name of the episode. Yeah, please upload it to YouTube if you can. Thanks, Brad. Bye bye. What? It's not up there? It has to be up there. August 16th, 2015. Let's see if I can find that one. Yep, there it is. I just typed in the words taking advantage. It's the August 16th, 2015 show, Being Evil and Taking Advantage of People, sponsored by Tony from Arizona. This is a live show where we call residents that are members of a homeowner's association. I will put a link to that in the show notes if anyone wants to hear it. It is apparently the one where I claim that some lady's husband has been just going out in my yard in the middle of the night and just staring at my house while wearing a Friday the 13th mask. That sounds hilarious. Thanks, Crimson. I'm sure whoever was looking for that will appreciate it. Maybe if they still listen to the show. Hey, Brad, it's Publicist. Hey. I was just listening to the Landlords from Hell, and that show was fucking awesome. Thank you. The thing that I wanted to compliment you on that cracked me the fuck up was the uh, hold music. Um, uh, pussy good, pussy sweet, or whatever the fuck that was. They don't I curse. Think you were, I think you played that right no after. No cursing. After that lady was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to church on Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. But the funny thing was, was it was like, she didn't, even, she didn't even notice. I know. Nobody notices it. Nobody cares. Like, a couple of people have cared so far. But most people just don't seem to think anything of it. So, if you play this on the air, I, maybe some of the other PLAers can find uh, some really raunchy-ass songs. But yeah, uh, I'm going to make that my mission as well and submit them and hope that you will start doing more old music. Okay. Thanks. See you later. Hey, Arby, I was curious if you could tell me if the uh, bomb is uh, still alive. I uh, sure haven't heard uh, any reference to him or uh, any, any comments really at all. I want to know if the bomb's still alive. Let me know. Yeah, yeah, he's probably still alive. Why wouldn't he be? He's as fit as a fiddle. I'm sure he's going to come out with a new album soon. That's it. Jack from Alaska. Hey, hey. man. Hey. I just got to say, dude, are you sick of everybody always saying good work? Good work. Yeah, yeah, fuck all you voicemail people telling me good work. Keep up the good work. I mean, yeah, you know, encouragement's nice. No, they're, they're not, you know, need no harm, but fuck. Yeah, shut the fuck up, everyone. <laughs> At least their phones work, and we can understand them. You know, a person. Stop.
stop. So maybe maybe make a call out to the end and say, you know, fuck you guys and your good work. Fucking call it. Right. Every time you get loud, your phone fucks up. That's funny. And uh, yeah, I, I was also thinking, why don't you make like a, another persona that had these crazy commercials, you know, like here's the word from our sponsor or whatever, and then it cut to this other character. You know, and the character's like, sick of fucking asshole people in the way, cause they and keep up the good work. Take <laughs> Yep, that's what I'll do. Okay. Whatever you just said, whatever you just yelled and I didn't hear. Good work on this voicemail. Hey, Brad. Hey. I figured I'd call while you're still small time because you're going to blow up. I hope so. so. I gotta get an email in for you. Pop up. All right. Thanks. He said something at the end, but I couldn't under- understand it. Hey, Brad, this is the real Rusty Shackleford. Hey. I really screwed that last one up, so I'm going to try it again. Okay. Thank you for sitting down with me. Were you ever bullied? What? Hello. For billing, press 1. What? Otherwise, press 2. What's happening? 4. A. Complaint. Press 7. Okay, that was weird. I don't know what that was about. Thanks, Rusty Shackleford. Hey, Brad. It's Swapsart. Um, just had a few questions for you. Okay. First one is, I recently found a delicious beer made by Michelob Ultra, uh, flavored cactus lime. Uh, really good stuff. Don't know if you've seen that. I've been having some trouble finding it recently, but it was available uh, for the past few months. If you see in the local area, check it out, not only because it says cactus, but also because it's delicious. Okay. Uh, secondly, I'm I was not allowed to drink anymore. Throughout all of your antics in your life, have you ever been punched in the face? No. And if so, how badly did it hurt? <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate the show. Always a great time. Yeah, um, I got punched in the face when I was in like fifth grade. Knocked me right out. I was unconscious for, I don't know, a minute or something. He was a seventh grader. But nope, surprisingly, I have never been punched in the face in my adult life. I think I need to experience that before I die. Somebody needs to punch me in the <laughs> face. Hello, Brad. Will here again. Hey, Will. Uh, so I was listening to one of your older shows. Um, okay. It was July 30th, 2015, the, the show called Income and Doorknobs. And about 43 minutes and 35 seconds in, you said that if you ever saw Olga in person, that you would punch her in the face. And I would like to know if you ever made good on that. And uh, if not, like, what the hell? So, uh, I yeah. Uh, guess... Maybe go check that out and uh, maybe... Let me fix that. Yeah. I didn't even think of that. A couple weeks ago when I met her and King Richard, I completely forgot about that promise to everyone that I would punch Olga in the face. And that's weird. Two voicemails in a row about being punched in the face. What the hell? Hello, Alex Corbin. This is Jim Bayless from Ameritech Corporate Security. I'm calling because I've got a couple of questions. If you go ahead and give me a call back, I'd appreciate it. Thank you. Okay. Let me write down your number. I'll do that right after I finish these voicemails. Hello, this is Adrian, and this is my crawling voice. I don't even know what to say, so I'll just say this. You suck, and go suck a dick. And, nah, I'm, just, I'm, I'm just playing. Okay, don't worry, everyone. Just a few more to go, and this will all be over. Hi, Brad, Brad. How you doing, man? Hey. It's Minnesota Greg. I don't really have much to say. I just haven't called you in a while, but your shows have been awesome. Well, and, thank <clears> you. Excuse me. <clears throat> you've been putting out more shows lately, too. And well, I fucking I'm, love I'm it. Trying. You might make me a Patreon here eventually. If I wasn't such a broke-ass fucking hobo, eventually you might be able to talk me into it. Keep up the good work. That is it. Love you, Brad. I hope so. Bye-bye. You know, if you were a Patreon, you could have listened to the live portion of this show 24 hours ago because I had this all edited last night and I went ahead and just put it up on Patreon because I didn't think I'd get this episode posted tonight. I'm still not sure if I'm going to get it posted tonight, but maybe I will. It's 10.30 right now. It's almost my bedtime. Hello, Brad Carter. Hello. This is a Prince of Science. I wanted to call and let you know I'm listening on the throne of Vegeta. All right. By the way, this is Vegeta. You hadn't guessed already. Yep, I figured so. Like that. Who else would Just be on this phone? Shows are very entertaining. To our Saiyans, we appreciate. 
Also, on behalf of all the Saiyans, my servant Nappa wishes to speak to you on our behalf. Okay. What's happening? Hey, Brad. Oh, God. This is Nappa. Oh, come on. It's been 47 seconds now. But, okay, there's just Shows. one left after this. Uh, we'll just play it. Can't get enough of them. Yep, okay. And, um, would you hurry up already? Oh, sorry. I guess we gotta go and this go, is good uh, material here. Destroy Earth or, or something like that. Well, we'll see you there. Destroy Earth. Gotta go get this guy named Carrot. It's Kakarot! Sorry, hey. Regina. All right. See you later, Brad. All right, bye. A minute and a half of Hello, that. Mr. Pepper. This is Zombie Mouse again. Hey. Uh, I've got a knock-knock joke for you. All right. Let's hear knock, it. Knock-knock. Who's there? Procrastinating cow. Procrastinating cow who? And that's the end. Good one. But you know what? It was only 16 seconds long, so I really like that voicemail. That was the best voicemail ever. Thanks for that. Okay, thank you, everyone, for listening to the show today. That's all. Bye. Who the fuck is this? I got a tracer on my phone. I'm tracing this phone call. And you know what? I'm going to report you. Please, my please. nephew is a sheriff. <laughs> I'm reporting you to him. You want to fucking play games, buddy? Play games. Just, just, can we pretend I never called you? You are a piece of fucking shit. Okay. And if you call my phone again, I'll make sure you don't ever get another phone anywhere, honey. Oh, come on. You know, I'm going to trace this phone call, motherfucker. <laughs>